So you are already a proficient speaker. So tell me what all things you have incorporated in your life, so that you know which helped you in improving your English, like reading. I think I or... should be asking you this question because my viewers have listened this from me a lot of times. If you would answer uh-huh. this, great tutor I am interacting with, and I have seen uh-huh. most of your videos previously on YouTube. Okay. I saw your right. name, and then I was checking out for your booking slots. Today I found uh-huh. it. and i decided uh-huh. that i'll take my break later on but i'll have conversation sure. with you for sure i have a youtube channel for which i am recording this video today very nice very nice english youtube that. channel yeah okay so you post uh, content related to uh, you know communication right yes communication english and you're also a teacher like you teach chemistry chemistry yeah chemistry. so is it an online platform like clapingo or something like that online platform but for private coaching for example okay, a particular so- student wants to learn from me personally Uh-huh. for them individual uh-huh. coaching is there so in mumbai okay. this is working a lot since covid times students are enrolling mm. for online mode of Very nice. learning so yeah, for them because that is more convenient also right yeah mm. after completing students. master there is a criteria which we need to fulfill for teaching in a reputed college for that time mm. starting as of now but once i am okay. able to cope up with that then i'll be able to teach in colleges as well Okay, so are you uh, at your home right now, somewhere else? Uh, yeah, yes. I just received a break. I think I took break a little later uh-huh. to get the conversation okay. with you. Very <laughs> nice, very nice. Okay, and uh, Kavita, now tell me why do you want to improve your skills in English? Like, what's your uh, motivation behind that? My aim here, sir, for joining is not to improve myself because I mm-hmm. believe that I speak well. Of course, there is mm-hmm. always room for improvement further. Development Definitely. is required for everyone. I don't uh-huh. say that I'm an expert in this field, but mm-hmm. I believe that mm-hmm. I'm able to speak well. So here I am to show my viewers how useful Clapingo is, and if it okay. really helps students, I have recorded three previous sessions with other tutors. This uh-huh. is another tutor, great tutor I am interacting with, and I have seen uh-huh. most of your videos previously on YouTube. Okay. I saw your right. name, and then I was checking out for your booking slots. Today I found uh-huh. it, and I decided uh-huh. that I'll take my break later on, but I'll have conversation sure. with you for sure. Thank <laughs> so you so book. much. Thank you so much for that. Okay, now uh, I'd like to ask you, like, uh, so how long have you been living in Mumbai? Uh, since I was born. <laughs> okay, since you were born. Yeah, so but I came from visiting. UP. Hmm. My parents are hmm. from UP, but after they hmm. got married, they migrated here to Mumbai and hmm. Hmm. for living, earning bread and butter. And since yeah. then, I was born here. I keep visiting uh-huh. every year to my native place uh-huh. to have some peace and get a uh-huh. fresh air there. So it's Definitely. like I'm connected at both the places here for a year mm-hmm. and two months there. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so like which city in UP? Is it Lucknow? Like, no? UP Kanpur. 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 Uh, that, that's really famous Kanpur, yeah. Definitely. Which which state okay. are you from, sir? I I'm from Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Okay. Neighboring state, right? Neighboring. Have you been to Uttarakhand? Mm. No, buddy. Not yet. Uh-huh. I don't okay, have so... anyone who knows me there who would call me. Yeah. <laughs> I need no, no, someone. I'm asking you. in the perspective of traveling so how traveling. how many places have you traveled so far in india delhi mumbai uh-huh. and uttar pradesh uh-huh. just three three since delhi, i was mumbai, studying all these years and couldn't explore much now i have started earning now i'm getting independent uh-huh. slowly then i'll decide mm-hmm. use my money and go somewhere but as of now uh-huh. i haven't traveled anywhere okay okay so you've been to delhi once yes delhi and uh, so, in uttarakhand is there any tourist place so i could explore yeah, and definitely something? Uttarakhand is all about tourism actually. I'm from Nainital which is quite famous. Nainita, do you have do you yeah. know about Nainital? I I have heard about it a lot of times. Yeah. In movies so especially to, uh, villain uh, or heroes they belong from a beautiful place <laughs> of Nainital or they go and visit there for visit their there, tourism yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. I have heard. Yeah. So if you want to enjoy the scenic beauty of the uh, nature definitely you can go to Nainital because it has this uh, mango shaped lake as well. And if you want to see snow clad mountains you can go to uh-huh. Ali You can go to Badrinath, Oli. which is a Badrinath, Oli, yes. yes. Oli, Badrinath, and also Kedarnath. Have you heard about Kedarnath? Kedarnath? Yeah, yeah, I have seen the movie Kedarnath. Movie, yeah. So I have I visited Kedarnath in uh, COVID, like in September in 2020. How yeah, come because, in COVID? Because the the uh, you know the residents of Uttarakhand were allowed, not the you know outside okay. state people. Okay, outside. We were allowed. So I'm a native of like I'm an inhabitant of Uttarakhand, so I was allowed to. So But I how come did you go the there? I mean, for you were like frustrated with COVID, you wanted to go and have some. No, no, no. Actually, I, yeah, for some peace, for some tranquility, and to, uh, you know, offer prayers to uh, Mahadev. That's it. Mahadev, okay. Yeah, it's a wonderful place. 
it's just like uh, heaven on earth. I, like I can't explain it in words, but definitely I think if you if you ever visit Kedarnath, you will feel some you know unreal vibes. Amazing. That right. place is just fabulous. Okay. Yeah, but you have to walk a lot. So. I've you seen. I've like seen. Physically active. In that. movie, in movie, I've seen that they have a basket in which they uh-huh, carry uh-huh, uh-huh. and they take you up. Beautiful. <laughs> that is for like old citizens but for like young citizens i think yeah it's a trek it's a trek for about 21 kilometers which will usually 20. take around 7 hours 7 to 8 hours we can take okay. breaks in between no by having De- definitely something. definitely i'm i'm telling you including the breaks also hmm, but if you have a sedentary lifestyle if you're not physically active it, it yes. might be challenging for you right but if you're to used so to much. you know definitely but if you're uh, like physically active i think you can do it within 5 hours maximum 5 hours So uh, apart from traveling what do you love do you love shopping shopping most of the times i've been living on my parents money so many a times they give mm-hmm. me hand some limited amount of pocket money which i have to sustain yes. with for a month mm-hmm. and then spending it for shopping or doing something uh-huh. useful from it mm-hmm. i have to make a choice of it since i've started earning in covid times i have been locked in the house and i've i'm performing a work which requires everything in the house which requires just Absolutely. a laptop and a wifi connection so i am just connection. constricted inside the house i'm not going out anywhere but for mm-hmm. grocery purpose i go for shopping i think mm-hmm. grocery for when my mother tells me that these all groceries are required for that mm-hmm. i leave my house or else for my own shopping i have uh-huh. never went as of now i've never went all those clothes okay. i wear whatever i wear is bought from my mother i don't oh. You, you okay you don't go uh, like out for shopping that much right no many times when i go oh, and i purchase something and i get back my mom says how much did this cost you and if i say 350 rupees mm-hmm. or 400 she she starts scolding me you wasted your money this doesn't look like this much you should have told me i would have purchased <laughs> yes, and i yes, tell her yes, okay yes. i'm not going you get it for me i don't mothers are like that <laughs> mothers yes. are like that for sure okay uh, tell me something about your hobbies like apart from your professional commitments what else do you love to do in your leisure time the way i am talking to you i like talking see okay, i am working i am working uh-huh. and uh-huh. i took break i told my mother i'll not have lunch for today i am taking uh-huh. break late just to talk to a friend because i mm-hmm. have actually lost somebody in my life okay a week mm-hmm. back very special mm-hmm. one and Sorry since then i was crying for 3 4 days continuously mm-hmm. i was mm-hmm. i was completely isolated for those mm-hmm. days and i did not mm-hmm. work at all but later i decided that i have to accept that that person mm-hmm. is no more i have mm-hmm. to move on mm-hmm. i have to be stronger and mm-hmm. all of us today later or sooner are going to reach the same place so it's Definitely. not worth crying for more number of mm-hmm. days as much as i cry mm-hmm. that person is never going to return back to me so i decided mm-hmm. that i have to get back normal and start working once again and if required if i need to carry on my hobby i'll do session on clapping go and i'll talk to a friend mm-hmm. yeah definitely So you should always keep smiling and you know show resilience yeah. like you're showing yeah. right now. Exactly. That's really nice. I you know, think we can inspire we, a lot of people. We can also. either smile or cry. Uh-huh. If we cry, yeah. we can make the other person feel sad about it. If Absolutely. we smile, the other person uh-huh. feels enthusiastic to talk more. Because in the yeah, previous video you, of clapping, oh, hmm. my mother hmm. said, "Wow, oh my God, is she going to be alive again? Is she going to come hmm. back to normal?" I saw my own video on clapping, oh, I had recorded with Peter hmm. Rohit. the mm-hmm. previous video and then i decided that no i cannot be this person i'm not this person i don't deserve to be this person coming back to normal okay. all right all right that's really that's nice to hear because you know sometimes you have to move on also yes yeah yes. moving on is good okay so you're doing a lot of things like you know content writing so what kind of yeah. content do you write phd thesis phd okay, thesis of research yeah phd research thesis research is very nice for so my domain people have- and i mm-hmm. write for them they research they do their research purpose and they send us mm-hmm. the data that we have done this and this and we need this to be written mm-hmm. so there are many scholars who are able to research they are ready to discover many things but they are unable to put it down on paper due to their bad mm-hmm. communication or their bad thinking power to write it down mm-hmm. on a paper what mm-hmm. we can write in a single paper including mm-hmm. everything from top to bottom yeah. they can finish yeah. it in a single line so this is the Absolutely. problem with that okay okay so i do that uh, and uh, apart from chemistry what else do you teach chemistry english english i have english my own english speaking since i have started with this youtube channel there were many students approaching me they liked my english they uh, they thought that why not learn from this teacher and i started i thought that maybe if some person is ready to learn from me when i get time at night i call them but this became i don't know how this became a job for me and i started doing that too 
Okay, what about lockdown time? What were you doing at that time in 2020? I was in my masters. masters. Okay. Yeah. How did I, you manage finished, your classes and all? No, that time I wasn't doing anything. I was simply studying because masters is not that easy. If you have to score uh -huh. well, you uh -huh. have to give your entire focus into that. You cannot just Definitely. start Definitely. everything yeah. and be multi talented working everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I had mm -hmm. my focus during my masters. I had my focus only in my career because career is mm -hmm. the fixed position. Once we have that stable. Everything mm -hmm. is okay to bear, but in in front of that, nothing could be paid. Absolutely, that's that's nice. Okay, that's interesting. So, like, how was your daily routine like during the pandemic, when when the nation was uh, shut for uh, shut. Uh, 25 days? Yeah, it was locked down. It was not for 25 days in Mumbai. It was for almost uh -huh. three to four months in Mumbai, because in Mumbai yeah, the cases uh, were quite severe, and here, if you know, the area is quite densely populated. Here you don't have much space. You go out and you Absolutely. have ten people surrounding mm -hmm. you. You cannot have that peace and safe place space. to walk on the street, right? Mm -hmm. And on street also you have so much traffic and everything. It's mm -hmm. actually very densely populated in Mumbai. So your cases were rapidly increasing. There were police on the road all the time, checking out if people are wearing masks. So I had myself decided that I'm not going to go out. If I want my life, I am not going out. And that was the phase I had my last semester to be held. So I was studying in the house. I used to wake up late, no other activity. So sometimes spending time on phone was the only activity I could do inside uh -huh. the house. And Definitely. watching, watching what was famous those days? Instagram? No. TikTok, I guess TikTok was quite famous in 2020. Or Instagram, uh, I don't remember. But yes, something kind yes, of this TikTok was quite famous. Yeah, yeah. So, so. so some time for this purpose. And I felt that, okay, refreshment is done. Now I can get back to my studies. Mm. Okay, so yeah, definitely with the help of technology, I think we can mm. do a lot of things now because yeah. now most of the things are work from home only, mm. and Not you can connect with people with mm. the help of internet, right? Yeah. And speaking That's of true. COVID, how's the situation right now in Mumbai? Now everyone is moving here and there without mask. Now it's <laughs> told that you can be mask free. You do not need to wear mask anymore. So people are quite happy now these days. People have forgotten that there was any COVID. But some families who have lost their near and dear ones. In my society, there were three brothers, three brothers, real brothers, three brothers died in the span of one month. First brother after 10 days, second, and after a month, the third brother. So this was the pathetic situation in my society, which everyone knows, and nobody will be ever forgetting this. During the first wave of COVID, when Yes. Beds were not available, oxygen masks were, mm -hmm. oxygen cylinders were not available. The mm -hmm. situation was quite critical and these three brothers from the same house. And it was not that they were not married, they were married. And three women getting widowed in the mm -hmm. same house was difficult to bear and difficult really for us to, to hear. hear. Too. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are lessons have you learned from, from this entire thing, this pandemic? Uh, from pandemic? I don't think I learned anything because I did not lose anyone. So until it comes on you, you never learn anything, right? Absolutely. When it happened to the person whom I was getting married to, I was with him for the last eight years, but I lost him. After it happened to me, then I realized how difficult life is, how difficult it is to say somebody to stay strong and move on. Absolutely. Then actually Absolutely. going through it and deciding yourself what's the next move. And it was quite yes, difficult. Yes, yes. It is mm -hmm. being still difficult. I'm unable to forget. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to express myself that I'm again confident. I cannot be the same person I was crying. Because that yeah. person who's men would never like to see me cry. He would never yeah. like to put down my effort and quit everything. So I'm anyway not going to give up and work on it again. Yeah, you're a strong, strong girl. No doubt. No doubt about that. You gave me a lot of inspiration throughout this <laughs> session also. So I'm okay. so happy to be having a conversation with you. So you're already a proficient speaker. So tell me what all things you have incorporated in your life. So that, you know, which helped you in improving your English. Like reading. I, think I or... should be asking you this question because my viewers have listened to this from me a lot of times. If you would answer uh -huh. this, people would think okay, so, teacher is answering uh, Definitely. It. Okay, okay. So if I talk about myself, uh, I appeared for an interview in 2017. That was for a call center for a BPO. Uh -huh. And I was rejected because of my community skills oh. so i worked really hard upon myself like i read a book in a mm. month like mm. for in six months i read about seven to eight books 
and I get a lot of insights, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of, like how we make sentences. I watched a lot of web series like Friends, How I Met Your Mother. I started.